Good afternoon to you. I'm Katie Jeffries. Let's begin with the newly released body camera video that has drawn national attention. Ahmaud Arbery was killed in February in a small Brunswick subdivision after three white men in a truck chased him and shot him. Now, attorneys for the men charged with murder have said that they thought that he had been stealing from a local home under construction. Arbery's family said he was jogging in that neighborhood and committed no crime. First Coast News obtained the video showing the moments after the Glen County Police arrived on the scene. Our Troy Kless joins us live now with more. Yeah, thank you, Katie. And some of that video that we have been going through is disturbing, showing that crime scene and showing police checking on 25 year old Ahmad Arbery before speaking with the three men who were charged months after the shooting with his murder. Now what we see is officers briefly talking to Travis McMichael and Greg McMichael, the father and son who prosecutors say chased Arbery in their truck for several minutes through the Satilla Shores neighborhood. Greg McMichael can be seen telling police he saw Arbery running through the neighborhood. He tells officers he grabbed his gun and asked his son to grab a shotgun to stop Arbery. Travis McMichael, who was captured on that viral cell phone video showing the shooting of Arbery in the chest, tells police that what about what happened from his perspective. Do you have any other weapons or anything on you? Just that. Okay. If he would have stopped, this is what I know. Happened. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, just take a breath. You're, I, I, okay. I, I want it done right. <laughs> I got you. So. It just doesn't look good. I mean, it just shot me. Last thing I've last thing I've ever done want to do in my life. Now we also see on camera the third suspect, William Roddy Bryan, telling police he joined in the pursuit after seeing Arbery and the McMichaels go past his house in that same neighborhood. Now all three men have been charged with first degree murder and remain in jail without bond, but all three have pleaded not guilty. Now there is plenty of video to go through, so we're going to show much more for you tonight starting on First Coast News at 5. We're live in Brunswick today. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.